Yo, what's up guys? How is it going? Good Monday evening to all of you. Unless, of course, it's still the afternoon for you. Or if it's the late night for you, in which case, damn, thank you very much for swinging on by. As you might have noticed, I had some good night's rest last night. Um, so I'm actually able to feel alive, awake, and a part of the living realm once more. For now, anyway. Um, we are back at it today. I am excited to go through it. The game plan thus far is to, uh, finish off side quests, get the proto relic quest done. Um, we're going to get any of the material that still needs to be gotten from Chadley that we need to get for the developmental materia and ideally do all the combat ones as well, since that'll unlock VR stuff too. So that's the game plan, and since we can kind of get, you know, the VR stuff with doing the, uh, uh, the world fights, since we'll need that anyway for the, uh, developmental points that are necessary to get that materia, it's kind of all gonna work together. Should be easy, I promise we won't get stuck on the piano as I try to get a perfect score on the song that I'm not bitter about at all. So yeah, good stuff! That's the game plan today. And then hopefully we can get up on the upper side of Junon and we'll check that out. Cause dude, I'm honestly excited to see where that's going to take us. I, uh, I can't wait to see. Cause like Junon in the original game was like a whole amazing set piece of stuff. I can't wait to see what they're going to do in this game about it. But I do still have to uh, do some fights as well because I need to also get Aerith and Tifa's abilities done. And then I need to switch in Barret so I can get his last new ability in there. It's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be a lot. There's a lot to do, so let's get to it. Let's not wait any longer on it. We got some quests here. We need to send some children to the Shadow Realm. Whether they're children or not isn't the point. It's to the Shadow Realm they go. It's just how it works. Let's go. This whole area is new, actually. This was never in the original game. Hello there, everyone. What? I'm Michaela. A member of Crows Against Shinra. I want to tell you how we can achieve world peace uh -huh. through Queen's blood. I don't believe you. you. Spare just a minute. I don't believe you at all. Hello. Alright, Sayo. Welcome. My name's Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. <laughs> we believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. What do you say? Want to play and help me drum up interest? The only thing I'm going to drum up is your death with my sick deck. What do we get? Oh, Mikola, lower the power of allied enemy cards and affect the house by one more cards in play. Wow, it's a mind flare. That's an odd card. That is, I don't know if that's really worth it. That's just J unit sweeper. But it, it's, I don't know if it's worth it. Those cards are really hard to play when they do these kind of like stuff like this. Those are really hard cards to play. Straight up. You're welcome to come back anytime. Ah shit, I pressed the circle button. Let's spread the word about. I keep doing that. All right, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just absolutely devastate you is what I'm trying to say here I'm gonna I'm gonna take this game and I'm gonna I'm gonna burn it in front of you I'm gonna take your deck. I'm gonna take your favorite card from that deck. I'm gonna burn it in front of you Sorry, that might be too intense <laughs> Just gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna tear the card right in front of your eyes. Do you want to throw Titan down now? Like, I feel like throwing down Titan might be actually a good idea right now. Yeah, I'm going to throw Titan right down in this lane. I'm going to just, I'm going to kick off the middle lane hard. Can we do like the Shinra Soldier. No, you know what? I want to I want to let him lay down that card right here 
so that I can immediately jack that spot back from him and stop him from playing cards. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, oh, I could get the perfect layout right here though. No, we got options. No, we actually got options right now. We're gonna play this J sweep, bro. Hold on. What is this? Freeze the power of allied cards and effects how while tunes in play? Hold on. Yeah. It's in a three spot though. That's the problem. I don't want to play it like that. I don't want to play it like that. Mm. Mm -mm. We're gonna make the most of this. We're gonna make the most of this. J sweep it. Middle row. Popping it off. Drop your card. It don't matter. You wanna know it don't matter? Cause I'm about to take that spot back from you. Bah! You played a card. <laughs> oh, 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 how quaint. Hold on a second. I gotta just, I gotta buff up my cards here, dude. I'm gonna take these cards from you. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, actually, you know what? No, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do, uh... So I want to take the spot in front of him. That's like the thing. I want to take that spot so I can kill that enemy card right in front of me. I just, I want to watch it die. Could I? No, I can't. I can't. I could take this three spot. Like, it's, it's not, it's not really worthwhile. It's not the best move to make. For the Shinra soldier, so we're gonna do this guy instead. Boom! Buff of the middle row again. Hunterman's turn. He's only got the middle row now. He just killed his own cards. I don't blame him. It's the right thing to do. I'm gonna help him do it again. Yo, hold on. Oh. Oh. Wait. Just killed off his card. So now he's gonna play down a card down there. Yeah, play it down at the bottom. And then he just killed off his own card. I like that, it's a good solid move. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's opening this field back up. Oh, what a tricky dicky. Oh, that's smart. However, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna keep taking card spots from him. I'm just gonna keep moving forward. He keeps killing his own cards! That's smart. Here's where we go. This is like insane strategy stuff here. This is what I was talking about. Right here. We want to check out this guy. Lowers the power. Yeah, so he keeps throwing down ones and he keeps losing those cards. I gotcha. However... I'm gonna take that spot up there now. So he's gotta have a card that's gonna lay down something behind him. Loses that spot. That's fine though. Can I take the spot from him again? I think I can. We're gonna we're gonna work reverse on him. Hold on. <laughs> so I'm gonna lose the card, but it's my spot now because I bet he doesn't have any more reverses. He's only got the middle row. He gets another card in his hand. Oh yeah, but here we go. Can't play that there. That's fine. We got a one. That's okay. That's all right. It's good. It's solid. We can technically slap this down there anytime we want. We don't have a reverse either in the middle row, but that's good. It's all right. It's cool. We're good. We're set. Uh, we need to play something. We got to play the Cactar, I think. I got to think we got to play the Cactar, which is fine because we're going to lose the Cactar, but we're going to potentially get that bonus on the two there, which means I can lay down another card. 
Buff up the card. Lose the card. That's fine. Buff up the card down there. He's going to drop down the one. Buffs up the top row. Can't do anything with it. And uh, it's my game now because he can't play anything anymore. It's my game now. He can't play anything anymore. Bitch. We'll pop it in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get that's a three right there. So we don't want to. He can't play anything anymore. So I can play this right here. We actually want to play this right here too, because otherwise it'll kill off the magic pot. J Unit Sweeper goes into this spot. All right. Yep. 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 Hold on. We're not done. I'm gonna play all my cards. We're getting all the points. Buffing up both of them. Boom. They're buffed up again. He's dead. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Just because I fucking can. It's my game. You never had a chance. You thought I was going to lose, but I wasn't. Yuki boy. Whoa. That was great. See, you thought that we were strategy? You thought you could just start cleaning up your board to play more cards? Nah, man. I'm ahead of you in that game. I already thought about that strategy. People laugh, but I really think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few things can. Because the key to world peace isn't violence. It's joy. Plain and simple joy. Comrade, I hear Yes, and I take joy in my violence, so... Spread the joy of gaming. I kind of have to disagree with you on a fundamental... Uh, principle because of, you know, that fact. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. Okay. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. Hmm. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Oh, shit. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. Hell yeah, I will. And I'll send him to the Shadow Realm as I do all my foes. All right, let's see here. Um, all right, let's go to my deck real fast here because we got card options, right? We got to we got to play this really crazy. Like Titan's an amazing card. I'm going to straight up say it. Uh, it's a really fucking good card, dude. Uh, Death Wheel is a wild card. I love what. Um, I really like what we saw right there with um, Mind Flare. That was an insanely good card for that reason alone. Um, he's insanely good on that spot, because if you just keep putting down ones, you can then clear out the row completely. That's crazy good. And then it lets you keep playing cards. But you are... You are really relying on the idea that you need that card to help clear out those cards, or you're using that card to infiltrate your enemy's spots. When playing, spawn Diamond Dust of Power 2, 4, or 6 in an empty, posi in empty positions. So, I kind of want to see what this does. Like, fundamentally, I just want to see what it does. Um, so, we're going to do that, actually. We're going to get rid of uh, this card, and we're going to put in Shiva. I want to see what Shiva does. The zoo looks really good. It's like a quasi -coddle but a little bit less stronger, but he's got a lot. He's got like a lot, a way better like spread on himself for both forward and back placement. I really want to make a Shinra deck too. I actually might do that. In fact, let's do that right now real fast. We're going to just make a Shinra deck real quickly here. Shinra cards only. We're going to keep filling it up with Shinra cards. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do this the right way though. I gotta fill it up with Wow, is that really the only Shinra cards? Oh, no, no, no. Here we go. Yeah, I knew it. See, I got to do this in order. I got to do this in order. Flame Trooper. Okay. Then we can get Riot Trooper. Grenader. Uh, J Unit Sweeper. I'll count that. That's Shinra units right there. And that's it. That's kind of it. Uh, we can add a Screamer. I feel like a Screamer is definitely like part of Shinra's like shenanigans. Right? It's a part of their stuff. Death Wheel? 
Is Death Whale really part of Shinra's stuff, though? I feel like it would be. Something they would do. Screw Nye is definitely, is like not really. It's like a Shinra deck right here. It's the closest we can get to it. You could say Death Wheels are a part of it, but it doesn't really feel like it. We're missing cards. Stop you, Drake. How's it going, man? I feel like Death Wheel would be an experiment of them. Devil Rider is definitely not. Um, we'll put it in there for the sake of it. It's not... I don't really feel like it's appropriate, but it's really good for that back row, like... Just hit him, you know, just slap him with slap him with the card. Uh, we gotta fill in some stuff. I gotta fill in some things, so... Um, we'll say... Uh, technically Titan and Shiva, because they're made through uh, Chadley's program. I'm really stretching it in my mind here, but we'll take it. Fat Chocobo is uh, in the original one too, so we'll put him in there. That's a real hard deck to play, my man. That is a lot of two tokens we're playing in there. Oh, we got it. Like, this is, this is a hard deck to play. We can't play like this. There's too many... Oh my god, we need like... Surely there's gotta be like... We need more Shinra soldiers or something. We need like, we need more Shinra stuff. Where's like the baton units? Where's the red guard? I, I just need to... This deck. Alright, well we had fun with this. Uh... Yeah, finish building anyway. We're not going to use the deck. We just I just want it there. I mean, security officers are really good. Straight up. They are good. All right, let's go find Cameron and uh, send him to the Shadow Realm. Yugi boy. <laughs> oh, he's in there. He's in his bastion. His wall of safety and comfort. But where he really is, is soon to be in the hands of death. As soon as I get over this box that I have now locked myself behind. Okay, hold on. Let's go around this way. Alright, here we go. Just had to not keep jumping up on everything. It does... Yeah, let's just, let's just, let's just do this. Come on. Finally. Someone who's worth a damn. What? I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood champion, and I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. Uh -huh. As I communed with nature, I received a vision. The true spirit of this game we both play. Okay. And now I shall reveal it to you. Okay. Are you prepared? Then come. This guy is a really, really, um, passionate individual for the game that he's playing. But he does have a really good card. Holy crap. Um, when allied and enemy cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by one. Holy crap! That's so good for a single lane. I am doing fantastic. Thank you for asking you, Drake. Uh, I'm currently about to send this man to the Shadow Realm. He just doesn't know it yet. Well, I might. I haven't played with Shiva. I don't know if Shiva is going to be a good choice or not for this. But I'm loving his card. That card is wild. It's Even if you just play it as is, it's really good. Um. Yeah, you know what? We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll play it. We'll play it. All right, we'll just, you know what? We're gonna start solid. We're gonna start hard. We're gonna start from the top row, slap it down right there. We're gonna build out. Oh, he's playing. Oh, he just started Shimmer Trooper right in the center. Respect. Let's see what Shiva does. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that's what it does? Oh no! <laughs> that's what it does! Yeah, she would just fucked me! <laughs> well! 
Uh, well, we now know. Now we know. I was sitting here. I was like, I really don't understand this card. I need to see it in play. What is that? Like, my, how was I misreading that? When played spawn? Oh, it just literally spawns diamond dust in two, four, or six empty positions. Got it. Yo! Yo! Hold on. Okay, I s okay, I understand. I understand. Oh, wait up. No. <laughs> Who among you is show Whoops. me what you're made of. Press the wrong button. I keep family. doing that. I keep pressing the back button on that. Okay. I see what she does. I don't think she's built for my deck though. She's not for my deck. She's not it's not for me, Jen. So She's cool, not for my deck. Um, so we need to put something else back in there. What did I want to put in there? What did I have in there? What did I have in there originally? Uh, we have one, 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 one. We have so many ones and twos. I don't even have a single three. We have magic pot in there. Uh, do we want a magic pot? Do we want to be like kind of a dick and just use fat chocobo? Actually, I kind of want to use fat. What, what is this? Do we use a hell rider? You want to use Fat Chocobo? I can use Fat Chocobo. We'll use Fat Chocobo. All right, Fat Chocobo's in. He's, he's in it. He's in it. We're using Fat Chocobo. This is how we're playing now. Ah, uh, no, we we can't start with this hand. No, fuck! God damn it! Every time I press buttons. All right, we're playing weird, guys. I'm sorry, we're playing weird. I, I can't place you there. It's a terrible spot for you. All right, Crystalline Crab, I need you to do me a solid here. And oh God, this is the, this is the, the freaking worst. This is absolute trash. All right, we can still tempo this. We can still do this. We can still do this. I'm I'm making up for lost ground. It's okay. It was all according to plan. <laughs> Fuck! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's my position. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Sorry, I had to hold my I had to hold that back. That was that was really big on me. Really one of the <laughs> We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. This Chocobo, I kind of want to slap him down here, but I don't think we're going to get that opportunity. I think Chocobo is going to like, I think I know what's going to happen here. <laughs> it's my ass. It's my spot. Smart move. It's a good Shimmer Trooper. He's solid. He's, do he's doing work. Good move. I, I don't blame you for that. I don't blame you for that at all. It was a, it was a good, good play on your part. Um, it won't help you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's only gonna work over there. I need a spot right here. Is the problem? I need to get the spot right there. I'm not gonna get it, but we can still make things happen, right? We still got the magic in our hands, so to speak. Um, the power of allied fards. Yeah, we're going to do this right here. Bah! Don't you do it. Ah, your zoom means nothing to me. See that spot? It's my spot. You bastard. 
You can't just take things like that from me. Things that are mine, very clearly mine. It should be always mine. I'm not going to leave you there. You're actually uh, not that useful to me like that. Uh, let's see here. What do we want to do? Want to use you right here? Yeah, I'm going to use it right there. I'm going to buff that row. We're going to do it like this. Trying to debuff your own guy. It's too late. It's too late. You can't play nothing no more. It's my row. It's my set of cards. Ah. It's my game. To the Shadow Realm with you. Give me that card. You don't, you don't, you don't deserve it. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. This is wrong. This is what? Really wrong. Um. I understand. It was just supposed to be a game. What the? No. There it is again. In that voice. returned no that's impossible it's just a silly card game uh, bro what oh god what have I done oh shit it actually is Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. Bro, what? Oh God, I've actually been sending people to okay. the Shadow Realm. Were you granted a transcendent vision as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Indeed, this match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. Bruh, I... I swear to God, if I actually find like a Millennium Puzzle, I'm gonna fucking I'm lose it. <laughs> Soon. I've actually been sending people to the uh, Shadow Realm and I didn't even know it. Good. I like to play games for keeps. Look at the ocean! Look at it! Do you see the ocean? I say it! I love the ocean! I do too! They get really intense about their oceans here. I don't blame them. No, you got an ocean, right? Can you... Why can't you hop over that small ledge, dude? Just climb up this, climb up this hole. Why is this not a hole you can run through? Why? I'm not going near you, Chadley. Get away from me. We crows lack the strength to topple their might. Seriously. Uh, dreaming of blue skies. The condor watches sight. Do you know condor hill? Oh! Condor Hill. Above Condor is not great the skies and above Jenna quite some time. We worry for weather, wish to wire someone to prepare a colony feast though. She too will find tempting she will find two tempting resists. Unlike my wordage. Those willing to provide assistance are invited to join us at Condor Hill. Oh, I'm going to Condor Hill. 
You know we're gonna play some full condo in this game. You know, you know this game gonna have some condo in it, and it's gonna have a fort, and I'm gonna be a both. Are right, we done here? I done sent everybody to the Shadow Realm. Played on the uh, tickle those ivories back there. We going off to play some full condo. Up here. Back through these walls. You're not ready. Why are Chuckles adorable? Fuck! They're adorable in this game! Alright, we gotta go down. Is this it? Condor Watching Society. Okay, that's the other side quest we gotta do. And then we have this combat, actually, I wanna get up to here. So, the game plan, remember, is we're gonna be doing these fights and we're gonna be doing proto relics. That's the uh, big, 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 thick, big brain gam plan. So we're gonna sit this down here. I'm gonna turn right. See how we can get to it. It's like, it's not that far. I just gotta climb, right? I just gotta climb. We just gotta climb. We gotta do some climbing. Climbing some hills. Oh, look. And have you stand back up. Cool, plumage. You know what? I don't think we need it. But I have cushions and I see no reason not to use one, right? So let me slap out that cushion. I mean, I don't want to dirty my ass, right? I got to make sure it's nice and clean and soft when I sit back up and find my HP and MP fully restored. Come on, my chocobo friend. I, I'm still surprised, though, that it's not green. Like, I'm, I'm legitimately surprised that we don't get a green chocobo for this. I really thought they were going to do a green chocobo. Oh, look. Pressure, stagger, and defeat all foes within a time Bear limit. Oh, they're just rare ignalists. Ugh. As their size puts them at the lower end of the food chain, they're exceptionally skittish creatures. In addition, they can actively regulate their body temperature, thus allowing them to emit heat as a defense against predators. There are theories that these fiery displays may also be employed in mating rituals. After all, nature is said to be a survival of the fittest. May we, too, pursue our objective with a passion that burns as bright as the ignalis scales. Yes, I am fit to survive. Ah. Alright, now we just need to use some abilities here called Assess. Uh, ice. Well, pressure, we can have to use some of its abilities. Cool. Meats. Flame Whirl. Uh, can kiss my ass. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, fine. You want to do this? Whee! Oh, God. Wow, oh, this is the oh, this is the worst. I'm trying desperately to do stuff. All right, all right, hold on a second. I can do. Uh, let's do. Things are going very poorly. It's divine punishment, these bur bastards. Uh, yeah, right there. Eric, okay. I win! Unable to complete all the objectives. Might be 
try again? Good God. Yeah, we need to retry this. Uh, I need to pressure them. That was a lot. I was trying to get Aerith's uh, ability to go off, but that was just rough. Rare Ignalisk variant identified. Commencing. Uh, we don't need yeah. to hear you. I don't need. I don't need to hear your stuff. I just need to get back in there. But first, we need to get through um, some uh, things here. I need to cast some spells. So let's do cure. Cloud. <laughs> Cool. And then let's go to inventory, ether, items, and we're going to slap that onto Eric. Eric. All right, let's try this again. As their size puts them at the lower end of the food chain, they're exceptionally skittish creatures. In addition, they can actively reference their body temperature, thus allowing them to emit it on the end. Let's do this. There are theories that these body displays may also be important. After all, the nature is said to be a survival of the Deal with that. I'm coming. We need to, uh... Need to oh, wait. I need Tifa to... Blizzard. Not that one. Let's Blizzard that one. Got him. Done. All of this is completed. We've accrued a lot of great data. Thanks to you. Okay, well that was easy. All right, then we can go warping down to... There's the Mog uh, actually stationed right there. We'll deal with that in a moment. <clears throat> but we want to go over here. Get on the Chocobo. And then we want to... Actually, yeah, going north would be nice here. Let's get this Mog spot since we're literally right here for the Mog. Huh. There it is. I was going to say, there. where is it? Let me climb! Anyone else want to see what the Moogles are up to, Koopo? <laughs> Don't you Koopa me. Alright, let's go. Let's just check it out. Let's check it out. We gotta get these guys, because they are important. They will unlock stuff for us, you know? Pull into some. Please bring back all the Mooglets for me, Koopa. Oh gosh, I gotta bring them all back again. All right, so we got those two over there, that one in there. He's got bananas again. Oh gosh, dang it, I pushed him all the way over there. Gotcha, little bastard. Yeah, you thought you were safe from me. Oh, they put these two together. The dicks. Ah! 
I got him. Thanks so much, Koopa. Oh. Dude. I really can't thank you enough for bringing all the Mooglets back. It's such a relief the Emporium that Mog and I don't Mog like together won't have to how your down. mouth looks. You're I'm not gonna lie. But I do need to. Interesting. Catch your eye, Koopa. But I do need to get like the items from you. So, Way of the Fist, Telerik Script Volume Two. <sighs> I'm loving these though. Okay. I'm gonna get this. I mean, these are obviously what we need to get. These are the most important. And now it becomes a choice of HP up or precision defense. And I really feel like the choice should be HP up. Like it should straight be HP up. This is such a good earring to have. Which is why it's not up for debate. Come again soon. So now we can actually put this on somebody. This is actually, I love this idea of like the HP up materia uh, being on the earrings and whatnot. What is her earrings? Oh, she literally has earrings. This <laughs> is magic power by 5%. Um, we want to actually keep that on her to some extent because she hits really hard. And I think, oh, we actually have our second set of stuff. She actually has a materia on her. Nice! Weapon skill set. We can put on the next one on here. MP recovery up. Spiritual harvest. Enduring ward. Lightning damage up. MP recovery rate up. I'm not sure I really like this. Like, MP rate doesn't really, really cover all that much. Um, but the ward up is nice. Cloud has not leveled up his yet for some reason. Cool, that's awesome. Oh, they didn't level up. It's just her weapon has it. Oh, shit. Right, Tifa has Koopa Charm on, just mostly for like the extra rewards. Um, but occasionally increases the amount of uh, materials collected. Occasionally, right? I don't need that. You know what I want? Give me uh, the HP material up. Boom. Now she doesn't need this honor anymore. We can actually go to uh, here. We can swap this over to him. Just keep it on him. Because now... Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. Wrong person. Actually, yeah. No, that's fine. Because uh, that one actually is about, is not about to level up as much as this one does. So we should actually get more HP from this one soon enough. And we can put something else in here. Like... Assess? We put Assess in here for her? Would that be good for her? What else could we put it? Lightning materia, we got steel, HP up materia, we got another one going. Oh, that's an HP up materia too. We have an HP up materia too. Shit. We still want them in there just to keep leveling them up, right? But the luck up would be nice. Look at it. He's got HP up. We need him on him. HP up. I don't really want to put it on her, though. It's not going to do any good. We'll put the assess on her. Healing fire, healing poison. Yeah, I do have kind of like the weirdest set. She's got a lot. She's already got like, I need the elements on her, so I'm not going to put that on her. I don't think that's really necessary. Uh, first strike. Would be good if she had a sass, but she doesn't. Um, we'll just put on... Screw it, we'll put the luck up on. Just start leveling it up. Aerith has almost upgraded her stuff anyway, so we're almost done there. Whoa, that was very fast. 
Okay, we go down here. We need to get down over here. I think we're actually going to have to go almost completely around. Oh, no. We have to go through the town. Okay. So we can go back to the town, actually. We're going to warp back to the town. We're definitely going for a con anything involving a condor. I'm 100% in on for because that is very much the possible. <laughs> oh yeah, the outside hookah lounge. Kind of do, to be honest. They're not really doing much. You know, Shira doesn't really care. It's not really helping in this particular instance. Whoa. Hello there, sir. Oh, ho, ho. care to join us, young lady? We've got a lovely I'm, I'm a, breeze blowing today. Excuse me? You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the great condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. I'm going to fight it's it. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? I literally just it's watched it pick up a human. It's about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but, um... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. Okay. It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest on a small island just a stone's throw from here. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it. Keep tabs on its well-being and whatnot. How are you saved, buddy? Back during the war, I was running from some Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor Wait, fly. what? Seriously? I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. It picked you up and didn't eat you? Really? Damn. It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. Well, well, well. I'll tell you what I've got. A chocobo that can do just that. Dude, this is such a cool view. Gosh, dang, dude. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Fuck, this game is so good looking. I really like the tents here, too. Like, I know it's a really weird thing to say, but, like, it actually... <laughs> like, the tents look actually appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> See so many games with tents that don't feel like they're the right size for people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Aw, oh, thank you. Heal up? Nah, dude. Healing's for uh cowards. Everybody knows that. If you're healing, you're a coward. Uh, that's why I don't put any cure spells on myself in any shape or form. I only use uh, I only use the blood of my enemies to heal myself. <laughs> I don't know why I said the chocobo, but here we go. However, I am going to take a rest. You see, I've been running all day, so I'll just use this cushion. I'll sit down, but I won't heal. I will restore my HP, though. Very different. Healing and restoring are very different things. I mean, that's why we use different words for it, right? Synonyms. What do you mean synonyms? What the hell is a synonym? That's what I use to spice up my food. Look, over there. Quietly approach the cow. Moo! Moo! There goes the condor's dinner. Maybe we can track its scent. Yeah, 13, maybe we can track its scent. 13. Yes, I will have my chocobo sniff the area out. Yo, chocobo, sniff it out. Sniffy. It's really weird that you have to like hold that down for so long. Am I, I'm sorry, was I faster than the bloody thing? They didn't expect me to be so efficient in my running, I guess. Found it. Quick, quick. Here it comes. I'll take that. Whoops. Hey, ten out of ten. Come on. Oh. One more song. Oh, sorry, for the This one's for you. So long. That's it. Get him. Gotta go for it now. Lend me your strength. That's it. Damn. If that doesn't get it, I don't know what does. Seriously. Am I just stuck here staring at a cow? Game? Hello? Hello? Whoa! Uh, track down the dinner thief. Excuse me? I feel like we missed a cutscene that we should have not missed. <laughs> I feel like we just missed a cutscene we definitely should have not missed. What just happened? <laughs> Bro, I thought I was about to just lose everything here. We're gonna just do another save real fast. Ooh, boy. <laughs> cow just like, the cow just threw up the peace sign and fade out. That was wild. No, don't go into the item transmitter. I don't care about the item transmitter. I want to go into materia. Earth is done. Thank you. All right. We can set up a uh, good old uh, Tifa as our leader here, which means we need to go to our combat settings. 
Tifa becomes leader. Um, but first, we got to swap out Aerith, put in the Barret. Then we do this. Then we set Tifa's lead. Then we do that. Sick. Now we go over to Materian Equipment, swing them on over. Uh, she's got this. Ice, cleansing, fire, vitality up, chakra. Nobody gives a shit about that. Uh, we want to do first strike, healing. Well, we won't take the poison. We won't, we won't need the poison. We're going to put this over here. Assess. Uh, we're going to take the HP. Whoops. Put the HP over the vitality. Ice. We'll, we'll give him ice. We'll let him have ice, you know, because ice is good. Ice is solid. It's a good solid spell. Uh, all the kids are raving about it nowadays. Even my daughter has an ice materia. Everybody loves it. All right, sniff him out, Choco Bro. What do you mean you don't scent anything here? What? I'm looking. What am I not right enough on it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! Right into the wall. Climb, climb, climb. Here we go. Uh, Nanaki, how did you get, what? <laughs> what, you can't jump down this portion of the ledge, but I bet you can't here. Oh, you're gonna slide down it like a pro, cool. It's in here. Let's go. You know what? I love you, dude. But thank you for bringing us here, but I'm not going to get you in trouble. I can't believe there was just a wild cow outside. I I'm still reeling on that, to be honest. Oh, I thought you were going to do something crazy. See what we got here. Uh, assess your butt. Got to fight. Mystic dragon, my ass. Everyone loves creature lives in caves and mutate after two creature exposed to mocker for the underwater reactors. Result: flesh has begun to rot while this creature still lives and breathes. Oh, oh. Fly enough to handle pressure, but once pressure, it will fly high into the air. Ooh. Focus strike. Go. Got it. Hey. Right. Good to go. Got it. Dang it. What have I got for her? Okay, there we go. Let's do it. Thanks. You ready? Uh, let's get a sonic boom on that. Let's get an arrow on here. Bonus round. Oh, hell yeah. Avalanche two-step, here we go, baby. 
Oh, that is sick, dude. That's maximum fury, this dude. Let's pour on the gotcha. Synergy abilities, uh, relentless rush. Let's do this. Hell yeah! What do we do now? Monster flesh, bovine meat. Monster flesh, bovine meat. Peculiar greens? What? Choose an item to take? What? I don't understand. Why is it just suddenly? Why is it just suddenly giving me this as a choice? Like I, like, I legitimately don't understand why it's giving me this choice. Wait. Well, okay. I'm, I'm waiting. But I'm, I'm like legitimately confused. There was no talk of this. There's no, there's no like relation to this. I'm, I'm legitimately on like, why is it asking me? What do I want to take? I, so my, my, my thought is my thought is take the peculiar greens. Cause maybe it'll help like heal the condor. Like I'm going to have a limit to make the condor sick or, or something. And it needs these greens to help heal it or something. The monster flesh I don't want to take because we read it. We read the, the assessment of the creature. It's literally, uh, the flesh of this creature is literally rotting alive because of the Mako within it. I don't want to take the monster flesh. And the bovine just seems like, well, that's what we were here for. So let's take it. Right? Like I want to take I want to take the greens. I don't know why. I, I like I'm 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 jumping out here because I'm so thrown off by what this is. But I'm Lily 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 is in Lily. Give me give me give me a throwback here. It affects how the quests end. Is there a wrong choice? Let me ask that. Is there a wrong choice? There is a wrong choice. Okay. Am I correct that the wrong choice is the I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil myself on this one, but I, I feel like it, this is so out of left field for me. Is the wrong choice the monster flesh? Like, am I correct in that one? Thank you. Okay. All right. The assessment. The assessment was don't take the monster flesh. That's what I thought. <laughs> All right. 
Is the other two choices... I know I'm playing 20 questions with you right now. Is the other two choices a better and best option? Or is it just two different ways of doing this? There is a better and best. Fuck. Fuck. Last, last 20 questions before I, I guess what you are. Is this a fucking trick question setup scenario where you have to use 3D chess mechanics? Or is... That's the question. That is, is this a... Okay, it's not. All right. Okay, that's all I need. I'm taking the bow by me. <laughs> taking the bow by me. <laughs> it's all I needed. I just needed. <laughs> I was so thrown off by this dude. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate, I like, <laughs> I mean, like, the game, the game is pretty, like, upfront with you about this, like, like, here's what you are, it's a condor, it's gonna eat meat, right, but I'm sitting here, like, is this game, like, trying to trick question me right now, what the fuck am I looking at? Just so thrown off, I was so thrown off by this. Bro, that if, if this was literally legitimately to just throw off people who skip dialogue and whatnot, that's a fucked up thing to do. <laughs> They're gonna be thrown for a loop. Holy crap. Um, let's see here. We gotta get back all the way over to here, so we're just gonna take the fast travel. Gosh. Good fight though. I kept getting slapped out of the air. Oh, you're back. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. You can put the food right over there. Thank you. This is quite the cut of meat. I have no doubt the bird will be unable to resist the call of such fine dining. We're gonna get the condor to come up. We can chill up here with this. Just it's kind of nice looking up and seeing a blue sky. Beats a steel one, that's for sure. <laughs> The way Cloud is oh, sitting is awful on your back. You know your limits. Out here, it's endless. I kind of get what Aerith was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look! Why would you say that? You grow up. You grew literally grew up with uh, a blue sky, Tifa. I never dreamed I'd be able to see it up close like this. Ah, uh, oh, wait. We have to get a photograph. Grab the camera. Yes, sir. Come on. Gather around, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Say cheese. Oh. <sighs> what? what is she doing? What was that? So, snap any good shots? I hope so. It just showed up. I could barely hold my camera and... Really? Couldn't tell from a shot like this. Ah, <laughs> well, I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad. It's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating. You never know what to expect. Well, scouts, let's finish writing up today's report and start preparing for our next fateful encounter. Sir! And hopefully next time we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir! Miss, I'd like you to have this. As a souvenir. <laughs> nice face, Cloud. Your relationship has changed. <laughs> Damn it, I knew it. <laughs> knew it. <laughs> knew it. <laughs> Warning material, too. Let's uh, check it out. Uh, let's set it just over here. Uh, who would I put it on, though? Who would I want to slap this warning material on? You just want to slap it on there and...
Uh, reduce debuff duration. Oh, right. Warding is super good once you have all the other materia that it works with. And only when you know the fights that it's useful for. Otherwise, warding is like, meh. I really am nothing but a colossal failure. Bro, you took fine shots, we right? We haven't had a sighting like that in who knows how long. And it's all thanks to you. I've never had the privilege of seeing a condor up close like that before. <laughs> My heart is still pounding. Yeah, I bet. That bird is massive, dude. I literally, I literally got into this area and then I uh, watched it picked up somebody and just, you know, carried them off into the sunset. The proverbial sunset, obviously. Um, let's see here. Side quest over here. We need to find more combat stuff, though. We got the one over here. I need to also get up here for the divine for the phoenix, so we kind of need to do that as well. How do we get up there? I'm guessing we have to go over here and then go around this side. We want to get up here for the phoenix buff. Um... Chocobo. Let's do this. We're just gonna start exploring. It's the fastest way to go about it. No point in, in mucking about. Ah, yeah, there it is. I really like that sound. It's like it's a really good noise. You okay, buddy? You look like you just got shot in the face. Freeze. Let's keep it up. Hey, there we go. Climbing, just lots more climbing. Here we go. Any day now. The combat in this game, I like. I've said it a thousand times, and I'm going to continue to praise it. The combat in this game just feels good, just insanely good. All right, here we go. Next one up. We analyze. We get this one. Level up the Phoenix Materia. Which we absolutely want to level up. X square. X square. Actually, this is really easy. We can we actually have hints on how to do this one. It's actually very simple. Commence. X square. X square. Done. See? Super easy. Party level four, nice. Material level up two for the Phoenix. Splendid synchronization. Let's hope our investigation of other shrines goes as smoothly. Mm. 
Nice. Okay, we got that out of the way, so now we need to go down the south end here. So we're going to warp ourselves over to this point of interest. Uh, we're going to have to get back on our chocobo, though, unfortunately. All right, well, then we go down south. Because we want to get to the next tower, we need to activate... Whoa! I don't want to fall in my debt, though. Retaliate with the violent attack, but evade this attack will pressure them. Oh shit, okay. Oh gee, Buzz. My turn. We need to heal up. Gonna spells. Let's go to Aerith since she's kind of just sitting there chilling. Okay, never mind. Uh, we need people with, uh, you know, MP. Fuck. Aerith has got so much MP. We need to put a, a, the, another healing material on her just for this purpose and this purpose alone. <laughs> Pausing up here. I'm just going to steal your uh, healing real fast here. Uh, we're going to go to spells. going to go to Aerith. going to go to Kira. One, two, three. And then we're going to go to Cure. There you go. Wolf. That's probably not as the efficient way to do it. Boom, there we go. But man, dude, those guys hit hard. All right, we have to hit this tower. We got a lot of stuff down there, actually. Look at all that crap. What is that all down there? Good Lord. So, what do people make like home there if it's just like just wreckage? All right, let's see what we got. Combat, little spot up there, perfect. We're looking for the combat one specifically. We want those to help continue pushing us along here. We got the combat one over here. We'll need to get to that guy somehow. Um, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. We've got this side quest head to the abandoned lighthouse, which we need to go down to anyway. That's good. We can hit this guy up when we're going to this proto relic. And then while we're heading over this way, we may as well hit up this guy to uh, hit that area as well. So perfect. Wait, the divine intel has been here the whole time. Got it. 
That is a scene. That is a set piece. Oh, shit. That's north, so we want south. We need to go around here. Yep. All right, let's do this. Whoa! Trying to avoid combat. On this occasion, anyway. We want to get up here. Let's try if we can get to this combat spot, because I want to try to avoid any fights that are not arguably necessary, per se. Not over there. Oh. Is this the end of it? Shit. Yo, how do we get over here then? Oh man, do I have to go along like an outer edge? I do. Damn. I'm guessing this is part of a quest line area up here. We need to get down. Oh, here we go. We can go down from this side. Perfect. We can go around this side. Perfect. See if we can get around from this side here. Might have to go through it. Maybe from underground? I'm guessing maybe that's the case. Ruined treasury area of interest. Here we go. Well, find treasure chest. That's not bad, but it's not, you know, what I'm really here for, per se. There's the second one. Oh, nice skill. Crap. Oh, we can swim. Duh. We can swim. We can just go over there. We can just swim around. How did I miss that? Just ran into that. We need to get this. We need to do this anyway to get over here. We can climb up on this side. It looks like for the quest. Woof. All right, we can get up that way. We have to go over maybe up here. Yeah, we have to go up here. It looks like maybe. No, it was it was that it was that junk right there. I was right. Okay, what the hell? Wow, that is some weird. Okay, here we go. I want to get to this area though on the other side, but we've got the side quest here, so we're gonna we're gonna just go in order. What's up? Ow, what do you want? What do you need? Oh, there's people over here. Oh crap, there's people over here. <laughs> there's the bridge to get across, which is gonna lead us to likely the path that will lead over there. Okay, sick. Oh, 
Oh, the music changed. I was like, what the hell? What's the music? Uh, I'm betting, I'm betting actually that this quest line is going to take us over there. So. It's nice that somebody like just graffitied all over this. certainly poured their energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. Uh. Oh, this is the Kyrie quest. Yeah. I mean, that was definitely our Chocobo. I'm going to take a rest real fast while we're here. And check out the vendor. Mega potions? Uh, yeah. You're like 400 gil for like nothing, dude. Alpha dunk bangle? Oh shit, yeah. We're, uh... We're buying you for 800. Absolutely. Alright. Do that. And then... Let's expand our roster here a little bit. Roster. Yeah. Can't even speak right. Tier fours are up. Selfish recovery boost. Okay. Enhanced physical guard. Applies the regen ability when entering the battle? Dude. That's level five? Reducing the overcharge time for overcharge. Oh god, that's so good. Applies the protect status effect upon entering battle. Uh insufficient weapon level. Dude. What? What? These are really good. What? Okay, I need to get up to here. Is what I need. A thousand percent this is, this is super good. This is like disgustingly good. You cloud unlock on any stuff? Max MP by three. Increase the defense by 10% while in punisher mode. Oh, that's really good. Maelstrom strike? Okay. I'm guessing that's Yuffie. Upon staggering enemy. Uh, damage dealt to staggered enemies. United refocus. Cool. Okay, Cloud doesn't really get anything really that's sick. Oh! Oh no, he just gets a passive at level 5. At level 5, he just gets a passive ATB recharge rate. Nice. Okay, that's good. That's really good. What does Tifa get? We've got increased the duration of unbridled strength by 50%. That's sick. United refocus. Cool. That's actually really nice that there's just no limit break for this. There's just an ability where it's like you can use a synergy and just gain three ATB charge for a while. Limit gauge to stagger that. Gains 50% chance of entering battle without unbridled strength active. That's actually really good. Critical hit rate by 5%. That's super good. Beast shield barrage. Yo. Dude, why is Tifa so badass in this game? Oh my gosh, she looks so sick in this game. Replenish ATB gauge by 5% when using a weapon ability? Oh. Hi. Yes, I will be putting points into that. Thank you. Opening ATB, Unbridled Strength. We're going to want to do stuff that like just gets us closer up to this stuff once we get that point. This is going to unlock uh, this stuff.
This is so good. Oh my gosh. Uh, what is this? 200%. We need that. Slip and slide. All right, we'll need to get this. To get into this. I can see why they essentially say that you have to reset stuff and you have to start like building towards certain things. But I don't really see a reason just to build towards things like anything random just yet. That's really good. Selfish recovery boost is actually really good. More HP. Vengeance mode duration. Increased speed by 30 is really good. Max MP. Take strong defensive stance. What is this up here? Magic defense 35. Ringmaster. Excuse me? <laughs> Yo, that's actually really funny. Get this. How much else to unlock? I don't want to really. I want to save it for other things. Hey, she's weapon level four. Nice. Why is she level weapon level four before everybody else? Increased tempest damage by five. Magic attack by twenty. Own their focus. Okay, we don't have them yet. Probably UFP again. Sweet and sour salvo. Oh my gosh. No, does Aerith really put on shades? She does! No way! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why is that so amazing? <laughs> She's using her staff like a gun! That's so amazing! Holy shit! <laughs> no way! We have to get that. That's that's a mandatory get and use in a fight. We must get that and we must use it. Absolutely mandatory. Absolutely mandatory. We could have gotten this. Could have gotten this, but then I saw this. Tempest damage up. And we're doing that. Yeah, other people are behind. Why did she... How did she get her S weapon level so much faster than all of them? Especially over Cloud. What the hell? How, how did I do that? Can you pick it up? Oh, actually, hold a second. There's something we can do too right now. Uh, yes. Yes. Behold, gentlemen. Behold. The Sailor's Bracer, grade three. Can we make it better. We cannot make it better. Supernatural. Survival. Oh, better ones. We can't make them yet, though. Unfortunately. Gold Needle. Here's Petrification. Ether. Mist High Potion. Gold. Coral. Armlet. I mean, I'm gonna make this. It's obvious. Bro, oh, that was that was amazing. All right, so Cloud's got the Whisper Orchid bracelet right now. Um, so eleven twenty-four. 
Can we put... Not this on him. The Sailor's Bracelet. He would go five up, five down. Or eight down. But it would be kind of nice to get him up there. Um, so I'm going to actually... It would be nice to get his fizz up and his magic down. So we're going to do that for him. Barrett over here is rocking uh, the Beastman armband. We're going to get him on something that's a little bit better. So we're going to get him a three. Or a four. One of these two. I don't really want to bring him down on stuff. That was the problem. Migar Bangle up high defense. No, that's not what I wanted. The Orchid Brick... Oh. Orchid bracelet would actually be this. Is that legitimately the same as what he's got? 1124. Oh, wow. It's legitimately just a better version of that. Okay, yeah, we're going to put this on him. Tifa has the enhanced copper. We can do better with that. We can do just better. We can just, they're just legitimately better. Gold coral would only go down two by two for her. We don't want that. We're going to get rid of the alpha dunk. Red has got the wise fox, the alpha dunk. Um, actually, I would like to give her the gold coral, but that's going to reduce her uh, defense by an insane amount. But that's a not that's not a problem. And I'll tell you why it's not a vibe problem. Oh, she's already got the vitality on there. Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't feel like I feel safe with her having that. Specifically, her having that on there, I do not feel safe with. At all. Maybe we can put it on red? Gold coral? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can put it on red. Give red some materia slots here. Give him that lightning. Give him the HP up. Oh, we could actually do this with Aerith, though. Ooh, which would give Aerith action. But nah, she doesn't really need it. Not like, I don't think she really needs it, ironically enough. I, I just took them all off, but that was kind of stupid. She doesn't really need it. Getting the warding on there would be nice to start leveling it up, though. It just doesn't do anything. Oh, she doesn't even have an HP up right now. That's another problem. All right. We're good on this one. I still need to get more. I don't know how I'm not getting stuff with Tifa's uh, reverse scale. Like, I just have to set up to get used. I think it's, I'm like, I'm not using it. It's a big problem. Uh, let's go down to Tifa. All right. We're just going to set up abilities on here and we're going to put on reverse scale. I'm not using this. But it says, like, for it, it just says, exploit an enemy's weakness. That's it. So just, you know, hit them with a spell or something that exploits their weakness. I don't know, man. I did that, though, and it didn't give me a bonus. Your privacy guaranteed. Oh, God. Greetings. Kyrie, Merc of Junon. And you are. Oh man. I'm sure I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Stop calling yourself really, a merc. Thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Uh, what even is a merc? Nobody really knows. Dude. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here. 
people even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. Ugh. Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested. <laughs> Good lord, that face! <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> what? Shut up. This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww, aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Dude. Come, here, come to mama. <laughs> 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 Did you just piss with this at that dog? Uh, yikes. Okay, scratch that. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done. But not to worry. I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. will be lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Oof. Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. Pass. No, absolutely not. Our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight. No, we don't. We can literally walk past them. I've done it like a thousand times. And I'll do it a thousand again. Spells, uh, fire. See, I didn't get a proficiency bonus. What the hell? There's more of them. Oh my god. I uh no, I'm not able to escape this fight. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now it won't let me. Hang in there. Oh, I couldn't I couldn't if I'm in the air, I don't think you can like I don't think you can block. Yeah, you can't. It won't let you block if you're in air. Which makes aerial combat still kind of rough. Yeah, you can only dodge if you're in air. Bonus round. Suck on this. Bring in the heat. Don't stop now. Come on, get rid of those things already, would ya? I thought you were supposed to be good at your job. You ain't. 
Hang back. Give it up. Get ready. <laughs> Going in. Oh, they're all dead. Oh god. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Let's see here. Can we do Avalanche Two Step, Synchro Cyclone? We're gonna do that one. Cloud. Copy. Tifa, could you cast some spells for me since we're uh, doing this now? Since they cost no MP, Flan One. Oh God. We assess these guys real fast here! Hey, that will to perch the boss comes to develop a resistance against absorbing that element. Once they gain up enough energy, we'll unleash a powerful magical attack. Got it. Oh, shit. Cool, I'm gonna hit you with fire up. And then we're gonna use this spell, and I'm gonna hit you with uh Thundara. No Let's see here. Let's do spells. Let's get Phoenix out here. I'm kind of liking this gauntlet of fights. It's fun. Abilities. Uh, Avalanche two step. Why not? Here. Oh my gosh. Let's do it! Oh, no. 
No now. Here it comes. You're done. Let's synergize. Relentless Rust, bitch! On it. Fire in the hole! Guy, he had that, this last spell he just cast on him. Dive kick his ass. Over shot. Woo! That's over. That was fun, dude. That was a lot of fun. Nobody could get past all those uglies. I'm glad you learned something. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Mer. Hey. Uh. Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. Hey, Toby. But it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh, yeah. Rondo was telling me you do Merc work on the side, too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything. Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. I like that his Chocomo has the shades that he has. <laughs> his Chocomo's got his six shades, dude. Look at that bird. Bird's rocking him better than he is. <laughs> That bird's got him. That bird's looking fly, man. Look at that bird. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to, uh, I need, I wish my Chocobo looks as sick as that Chocobo does. Damn. Here. <laughs> Or is a thousand percent cooler than I am. All right, let's get across this bridge. Hi, why did I hit a wall? Wall? Making the climb. Dropping a sick rhyme. Ah, oh, right on the wall again. Oh, there's a camp built up here. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going our way. We want to go this way. How how far low do I have to go before you jump? There we go. He won't- uh, the Chocobo doesn't auto-do it though, you actually have to like, uh, tell it, like, via uh, pressing the button. 
Normally, you sh it says like you can hold it down, but for the chocobo, it seems like you can't do that. Ugh. I don't like the look of this. Rare Fleetwing variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Fleetwings are also known as stalkers of the skies. When okay. Hunting, they descend so rapidly that their unsuspecting prey has no time to react, let alone fight back. To that end, Barbecuing within their territory is not advisable, unless you want your food to vanish before your very eyes. As it happens, Fleetwings are so perfectly adapted to life in the skies that their anatomy has inspired several aeronautical designs. Continued research into this aerodynamic wonder will surely pressure enemy, stagger enemy, defeat them. Future. You'll be soaring through the clouds before you know. We'll take off. Good to go. Couldn't have gone any better. There we go. We got a staggering enemy though too. You get a focus shot on that one. Stormwing A, Stormwing C. Let's get a Cura on Tifa. Yes, it's my turn. Cura. Cura. You got this. You ready? Good luck. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get him down. I gotta, I gotta parry them. Damn, dude. I'm not gonna be able to get him. Damn. Yeah, for I wasn't able to get him on the ground, um, but it's all right. It's all right. We can just retry the fight. We'll get a stagger enemy. It should be easy enough. We also have to assess them too, anyway, which I forgot to do. It should be easy enough. Assess these bitches. So yeah, have a weakness, we'll pressure it. Got it. It'll also probably kill it, but let's pretend it won't. Uh, let's get another spell. Let's try to get him down. There we go. Don't stop now. Hey, 
Get a cure out on Tifa. Let's swing back over to Barrett. Gonna spell out of curing onto Cloud. My turn. Ready? Not bad. <laughs> Don't overdo it. All set. Go. On it. Get a spell on there. Let's get arrow on it. Hang back. And let's synergize on this bad boy. Relent. Uh, let's do. Actually, do Psycho. Let's do Synchro Cyclone. There we go. Though I suspect it wasn't much of a challenge. Nice. All right, well then we can get out of here. We don't need to uh, press the wrong button. We can get out of here. We can pop out. We got that side quest done. We can get down all the way over to here. There's no relatively close spot. This is arguably the closest, the Mithril Mine exit. We could pop out, head down here, since we're gonna head down this way anyway. I'm worried that if I head out this way though, yeah, we're just gonna do this. No point, no point in like, Putzing around. Hey. All right, let's do this. Let's go backwards to go forwards, I suppose. Uh, we want to go to not this location. I want to go backwards, but I need to go around just a little bit more to the other side. Here we go. There's the tower. Done with that. All right, the trigger mechanism is on the ground. Sweet. All right, we're going to go up here. We're going to pop this tower. We're going to figure out what's out here. And then we're going to move on to the next proto relic quest here because that'll give us a. Uh, we'll, we'll see who's potentially going to deal with that proto relic. We got two more fights, apparently, which is a big thing, actually. That's actually kind of important. More items down this way. Let's see here. Another fight to the northwest, of course. Of course. Plus side, though, we have gotten, I think, everybody's abilities at this point. Yeah, everybody's abilities are here now, so we can actually swap over to the parties that I want back. Let's do that. Ah, not enemy intel. Ah, I went down one. Uh, let's do the change party. Oops. I want to do uh, set as leader, edit party. Sick material and equipment. All right, let's do this. Fire and ice, chakra, uh, lightning. We don't need. Uh, actually, we kind of want to put that in a cleansing.
We do need assessment up on it. We're going to get this on uh, red. We've got a fire over there already, so we can actually get poison back up on the combat. HP up, warding material up. Don't need it as a combat material. I actually need it as more like a... Um, actually, we want... HP up. Yeah, HP. Okay. Vitality, MP up. Nope, we want an HP up for you. Perfect. Don't need to steal on you. Let's get first strike on you, actually. AP up doesn't work with you anymore, so it's kind of meaningless. Let me get off your here. Don't need the two of them. What can we get out on you? Prayer, material, lightning, vitality up. You get luck up, MP up, chakra up, cleansing, lightning, lightning. Put it on him. Healing lightning. Luck up. Just something else I could put on him, actually. I could put the unique uh, precision defense on him. Oh, the question is, I just don't really know what I want to put on. It's not, it's not like I don't know what to build I want to do. I just don't know what I want to do with them. Warding up is meaningless right now. I could put steel, but I never find myself using steel ever. AP up, HP up, assess up. HP up, HP's got, he's got two HP ups. Holy shit. get a cleansing on you so we can at least make better use of like your ATB here luck up we got a fire chakra MP up maybe that's the choice maybe we just do an MP up Vitality up wouldn't be bad, but I just don't I don't see a reason for it. Poison lightning cleansing. We could just put damage material on you. You know what? Let's just do that. Instead of the luck up, let's just put the damage material on you. Gives us options. Ways to approach. Speaking of weapons, let's check them out real fast here. You need 65 to go. This needs 75 out of 110. Still don't understand why this leveled up so fast for you. Attack power 20, increase attack by 20. Oh man, Sleek Saber is going to get more materia slots too. This is rough. I really want to use Buster Sword. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Um, We're going to go to the combat real fast. Oh look, it's a special zoo. I smoke fiends. Rare Tonadu variant identified. Oh. Commencing guidance protocol. During Pressure staggered year, defeat. Tonadus migrate to the Junon region to seek out the fiends. They build their nests far from civilization and raise their young in bears. In terms of duty, often falls to bears to search for They're unfortunate. When food take is food. scarce, I'll take care they of occasionally them. venture into towns and cities.
Oh boy. Cause retire the violent attack, Veda's attack will pressure it. All right, so it's the same thing. Weak to wind, lesser resistant to poison, though. See here, Sidewinder his ass. Now's our chance. It's your turn now. Don't let up now. We finish it. Cure uh, yourself, Aerith. You ready? My turn. <laughs> Never again. Here it comes. Waiting for that. I was waiting for it to come out. I wanted to see how it was gonna hit me. But alright. Stagger and in the time limit. Nice. Most excellent work, Cloud. Does that battle prove a fitting test of your prowess? <laughs> your dissatisfied expression says it all. Oh yes! I noticed that as well. You aren't equipped with that functionality. Anyway, with the data from your latest uh, bout, Chadley. I created a new virtual combat trial. It will prove a real test. Chadley, why why do you get so intense with her? Oh, damn it, I don't mean to do that. Uh, let's go to inventory. Kylie's always like getting pretty uh, hostile to her. <laughs> He's like, you're not, you're not equipped with that. I don't like you. All right, here we go. Proto relic time. As soon as I can see it, I will let you know where it is. Oh, there's people here. As expected. for Condor. Yo. Something indeed. 
That's it. Now then, all that remains is to... That's odd. So many energy spikes. What could be the cause? This merits investigation. One moment. Fort Condor, huh? Takes me back. Used to study basic tactics with it. Game's pretty fun, actually. Wedge was into it, and he and I'd play sometimes. Detecting rapid increase in... Wait, Deepa, don't! <sighs> what? Excuse me? Yeah, we're for Condor! Here. We're saved! Excuse me? Huh? What in the hell is going on here? What? And why do we look like this? What? Hey, watch where you shoot. Captain! Don't give up the fight. Why is Greg here? Glad you're here, troopers. Shinra forces are poised to strike our position. Help us. You're our only hope. We are? What? Now, what did I just say? <laughs> There's no time. The enemy's already upon us. We'll explain on the way. Just come. Wait, what? <laughs> what is going on? The world of Fort Connor. You've been sucked into the board game known as Fort Condor. To claim the proto relic here, you will need to lead the Condor Calvin to victory over the advancing Shinra forces. Excuse me? What? Your force is composed of two types of units hero units and ally units. Press L1 and R1 to teach your hero units and L2 R to adjust your overall strategy, which will alter the types of deployable ally units. When you are say, satisfied with your battle formation, Press the start button to begin the skirmish. Uh. Okay. Okay, so we can kind of choose our setup here. Clouds and defender. Defense and move. Barrett has, he can hit aerial types, ground and towers. Tifa's an assault type. Okay, so we can choose our layout set up here. Oh shit. Oh my, dude, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, dudes. <laughs> Give me a moment here. <laughs> what am I looking at? Whoa. Okay, all right. All right, so I'm going to take Cloud and I'm going to probably take Barret for this setup here. We've got Vanguard. Okay, offense and defense focus. Headquarters 600, 100, 450, 580, 340. So for offense focused, our defensive, our headquarters are weaker, just straight up weaker. All right, so we've got a Vanguard 150, 40, 380. Elite Ranger, Ranger, two, 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 one, three, three, three. Okay. I can only have one Elite Ranger. Okay, so the difference is just trebuchet. What? The powerful long range static, he came with striking wide but fixed area. Okay. You know that rep, rep, supports for alarm from the rear with a range attack. More expensive than the standing, but also more powerful. Okay. Okay, wait. Cloud is a very powerful defensive unit with a large amount of HP. Perfect front lines. The braver skill is if damage damage applies barrier near by units. Okay, so super good. A range unit able to attack frontline units from the rear. Focus shot skill does damage, uh, damage heals nearby eyes. Holy crap. So these are these two guys are super good for an offensive base team. If we have T4, what you do? Haste. Oh my gosh. So she's super good with like a more defensive team. Close combat. More expensive than the standard unit, but also more powerful. Vanguard. Strength rapidly. I have infinite of these three guys I have infinite of. I can only have two of these units at any time. Two of him, two of him, and two of him. If this is the setup I use. What are the other ones? Defense focused. Stronghold defense focused. 
What does an elite forcer do? Okay, he's just a very strong offensive unit, but he's defensive type. Cleric heals. Okay, so it's just giving me one of each type. So if I'm very offensive, the trebuchet lets me just play is like a very weak defensive. But I get more elite vanguards in this route. But I can make up for the fact that I have Barret, so I'll, I won't be down on this one, but I lack defensive units, but Cloud is there to help assist with that. I get more clerics, though. Okay. I get trebuchets, which are kind of cool. All right, Moth unit. Great, powerful defensive unit that attacks all enemy in directions with a spinning blades. Riot Trooper is just a regular shield bash as a large. P Blast Ray is just a turret. Sweeper, E-Shock. I think he flies, actually. I think he's a flying troop. He may not be. No, he's a ground unit. Sweeper is very strong. Um, don't know how much he costs. They've got a lot of red on their team. Okay, so we need... So red beats green, which actually means that our... Our out setup here is actually like our offense focus for them is not the best, maybe. They've got a lot of red. We've got a lot of red. But Cloud is a defensive type. But they also have a lot of blue. So our blue would beat their red. We need a lot of red to beat their green. We lack blues, but we have trebuchets. Okay. All right, I think I think we've got this in the bag here. We're gonna I'm gonna go for it. I it's I think we're just gonna lose this one, but I kind of want to see how it's gonna play out. It's been a hot minute since I've played. To deploy a unit, use the cursor to select the location of the battlefield and press X. Here you will enter tactical mode where you can choose a unit. Take note of your opponent's deployment strategy. Look in the right side of the screen and plan accordingly. Ah, okay. We can already tell what units they're gonna drop and where. A unit is assigned one of three roles: ranged. Uh, Vanguard, Ranger, Defense. Pay close attention to these roles as they determine what units we, uh, enemies the unit will place effective against. You can view a diagram illustrating the relationship between these roles in the top right portion of the screen. Each unit has an HP cost. Starting the unit, more HP required, which we have in the top left. Okay. I'm going to set up a Enforcer here, I think. Whoops. You know what? I want to set up a cleric. Place my trebuchet in the worst possible spot, but hey.
Oh God! You will lose at the time if you cannot defeat the boss when the time runs out. Oh! Deploying this units with the same rules as a hero unit will fill the hero unit's deployment gauge. Once this gauge is full, you'll be able to place the character on the field. Oh shit, I didn't realize that. Oh. Oh crap. How did it say I do that? How did it say I can deploy him? Oh, L1. Place the field release of devastating attack that damages enemies, buffs allies. Cool, Elite Vanguard. Got him. Nice! Nice! This is so cool! I love it! It's just as fun as it was back then! We did it! Victory is ours! And we owe it all to your gracious aid. We thank you. Captain! Fellow troopers! It would seem that our next battle is fast approaching! The enemy could launch another attack at any moment. Please, you must stay and help us fight! Not again. <gasps> Hold up! The Proto Relic! Hmm? What is that I spy? What is that, I spy? My memory is failing me, but intuition tells me that is the treasure I seek. Hold! Unhand that, you rogues! Captain! Uh... Are we going to the next fight? The hell was that? Uh... Call me crazy, but... We were inside the game, weren't we? That's impossible. It is impossible, right? Ah. Uh. Yo, yo, are we gonna get like, are we gonna get ones with like Aerith and Red as well? Incredible. Simply incredible. No phenomenon like this has ever been observed before. It was as if the very fabric of time and space was twisted. But how? And why? Chadley, focus. So what now, little man? Proto Relic's gone. One of those punks in there swiped it. You're right. Of course. The Proto Relic. It's faint, but I'm still tracking its signal. Which means a portal like the one you used to enter Fort Condor has opened elsewhere. We cannot ignore this amazing development. Uh, this is the best Proto Relic quest now. Bex Badasses was funny, but this is the best one. Because I get to play more Fort Condor. No. Oh, come on, you're so far away from me! Alright, we're dropping down. Isn't Fort we'll Condor kind of a big deal in Midgar? Yeah, it was really popular in Sector 7. Maybe I should have gotten into it earlier. Think I could still learn the basics? I don't see why not. I bet both you and Red could pick it up quickly. What do you say to that? I accept any and all challengers. <laughs> oh, someone sounds confident. No backing out, okay? Listen to y'all. As if we've got nothing better to do. Oh, come on, Barrett. Don't be like that. 
I want to play. I want to play against Red Thirteen, dude. <laughs> Yo, I want to play for Gondor, and it's like, nah, nah. You ain't challenging me. You challenging the champ. And I just looked at my dog right next to me. <laughs> I would throw anybody for a loop. It's like, nah, nah, you ain't challenging me. You're challenging the pro right next to me. Oh my god. Uh let's use a spell. For you it's uh it's its arrow. There we go. Got them all down. Uh, Fort Condor is technically a place, it seems, but I'm not... It's not something we can really get to. It's not, like, set up in the same way it was. I am glad that it is the minigame is back, though, because I actually thoroughly enjoyed that minigame in Intermission. And to be honest, I actually enjoy it way more than um, uh, Queen's Blood. Like, I'm just not... There are very few card games that really interest me. Um, and while I think Queen's Blood is really good, uh, it's just not really my cup of tea, per se. All right, so we found the next battle. We found the next thing down over there. We have to get... How do we get out there? We just have to probably just swim, I'm guessing. We're just going to have to get down there somehow. Uh, let's follow this path over here. It'll take us down to a beach. I'm almost certain of it. Let's pop over to this spot then. Let's go to walk first. We can use a cushion. Pop ourselves off. Because we could use it. Yeah, let's use a cushion. I'm kind of wondering in the future when all three games are out, if they're just going to merge them all into one game at some point, like do a whole like Kingdom Hearts thing where you just, you know, like the whole game is just put on like one set of data and it's like, okay, now you can play the whole game. And we've mastered up the system and graphics. We've modified it. So now you can just experience the whole thing in 3D. hope so. I'm kind of hoping for that. Because I think that's a game that this is like, a, I feel like this is a game I 100% will be going back and playing in the future without question. Okay, maybe I have to go back up and go through the crevice to get over here. I'm going to go back up real fast. Because I almost have a feeling that I need to maybe go around for this fight instead. Yeah, looks like. Yep. Yeah. Okay, guys. Gloves up. Okay, Where stagger. Prevent enemy take flight when, when using soothe. Prevent enemy from taking flight when using so soothing breeze. Okay. This might be more difficult than I want it to be. Oh, 
need of my own. Alright, let's use abilities here. I didn't get the other one from going in the air. Inflict enough damage ca while casting Soothing Breeze while pressuring it. Okay, so we just need to cast ice spells, essentially. Synergy abilities? Savage assault this bitch. There we go. My gosh. Do we need to prevent the uh, enemies from taking flight when using the Soothing Breeze? We do need to do that, so that's kind of important, actually. Items. Let's Rare top ourselves of off. Deal with that. Follow me. Blizzard onto It's your turn. Feeding talk. Give it your all. Gotcha. So long. That's it. 
Got it. You all nice. That's what I was looking for. All right, now it's just getting across down there for the next proto relic. Since we've gotten all that stuff done, we can do that. Hey, can I get on the bird, please? All right. We can just get down there is the question. How to get down there? We want to go back over to that location, right? Whoa. We can go across the island. Come, little Chocobo. Take me away. We gotta go around the other side. Okay, got it. Boxes to kick. Boxes to... Yeah! Oh, no, I missed the one. Damn it. Is what it is. Proto Relic Energy Signature confirmed near the war game. I think we can safely say that's the entry point. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get in there and crack some more Shinra skulls. Um, before we do this, are we sure we can get back? Based on the analysis of your previous trip, I am confident you'll return following the conclusion of the match. Failing that, you may be assured that I will retrieve you myself. Okay, well then let's see who we goes into this rash one. Heck yeah, let's get in there! Oh, I can't do it! It's not so bad. Oh? I'm going in! Charge! How could this be? Captain! Troopers, you're just in time. Come, friends! Let us join forces to lay waste to those fiends and reclaim my treasure! What do you mean, your treasure? It came from our world. It belongs to us. Oh, cease your whinging, man. We've no time for it. Right now, we can but charge! Your mission is to help us break through the enemy lines and retrieve the artifact they stole. With the captain's aggressive approach, I fear we'll surely fail. Please, we can't succeed without you. Oh! <laughs> captain! We're coming! That's our cue. This is so goofy seeing them like move around like these swinging arm dolls. All right, we got a different layout for our enemy this time. They've got a lot of units. Okay, so we've got three red, four blue, four green. I fear an offensive approach may not do us well this time, my comrades. Uh, but with enough green and let's see here green and red they're pretty balanced out actually we lack the blues for the reds but that's not really a concern i'm not really too concerned about that we're gonna keep we're gonna do the setup again here um but what's instead of bringing in barrett this time since i'm gonna end up spawning reds anyway i'm gonna bring in tifa let's do this begin the skirmish. We got a cutter though. An elite helitrooper, which means we do need units that can hit the air. It's very important. And the wyvern. What the hell? Flying with no real affiliation, only use capable striking everybody can attack it. Got it. 
Archfiend. All right, yeah, it's just it just attacks the stronghold. Figured, okay. All right, we're gonna try this. We're gonna just do this. We're gonna see how it goes. Oh my gosh, they are just starting right in this lane with a. Stay away! Ah, suck it, dudes. They're stuck there because they have too many units in that row. The sweeper units are insane. Heck yeah. Got him. Those sweeper units are insanely good. Holy crap, dude. They are so good. Captain, we've won. Indeed. Yet we shan't rest till my prize is mine once more. Now, charge! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you fool! Huh? What is the meaning of this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Don't leave it at us! Wait, it just steals him now? <laughs> <laughs> Just comes in and jacks him instead.
Welcome back to reality, everyone. Oh, it seems you've returned empty-handed. Sorry, kid. Don't be. I wish I could have done more, but there was so much interference. We're dealing with a powerful energy source. Powerful enough to call current models into question. Hey, Chadley. I think I heard the captain call the proto-relic his treasure or something. You know anything about that? Sadly, no. Diva, why are your eyes so wide right now? What is going on? I can, however, inform you of the relic's location. Let's head there next. What was with that intense stare? That's happened twice now. Kyrie, when Kyrie is like talking to Cloud and Cloud is staring at her, he's giving her the most intense, like, like wide ass stare. And then there is like, <laughs> now Tifa's like talking to Chadley and she's like, just staring intensely at him. What is going on? We can actually warp over here for this. It's getting me concerned, my dudes. The vertigo on this is insane. Like the 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 reins on those birds should be taut. Trying to hold yourself from like being pulled back. Fort Condor portal confirmed. Now then, let us risk life and limb to discover the truth of this phenomenon. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> no. What happened to the proto relic? Ain't that what we came for? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I seem to have gotten caught up in the excitement. <laughs> I swear. Come on. Let's get this over with before the boy Wonder tries to talk us into worse. That was actually pretty funny. Yeah! Wait, no! <laughs> Barry getting caught up in the moment, too. He's just excited to fight. He's always just excited to beat a Babylon and our Shinra. If I were a proto relic, where would I be? Over here! Your princess and your treasure await you. Make haste, my hero. Mwah. 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 Uh, does he really think we don't realize it's him? If he does, then he's farther gone than I thought. Friends, help us. The captain is in grave danger. And without him, we're doomed. <laughs> All of us. Oh my gosh. We're nothing more than pieces in this game. Normally, we'd be stuck here, waiting on the board until someone came along to play with us. But all of that changed when the captain showed up. Ever since that day, we've been able to move around under our own power. I've never felt so alive. And it's all thanks to the captain. Without him, we're as good as dead. So how should we handle this? I don't think we can get the proto relic back without the captain. Yeah, we gotta help him. Bro, I'm sorry. Hold on. The warlord is an enemy unit now. The boss was now a. Uh, he's now a unit. Three, two, two. They've got a lot of neutrals, my dude. He's got three reds, two blues, two greens. Okay, so he's got really good red, though. Like, the blast ray is decent. But honestly, like the red here is what I'm worried about. We need some blues. We're gonna we're gonna pull, we're gonna play we're gonna play differently this time. We're gonna play up differently. What does the blister do? Okay, that's what it does. Defense focused. So this gives us two blues, a single red, and two greens.
Yeah. The Blissa is pretty solid. We don't need that much in the way of dealing with their greens because I honestly don't think their greens are all that strong. And we'll bring in Tifa. Tifa's going to have a hard time here, though, because she's shit. <laughs> she's shit. <laughs> Absolute trash. <laughs> You think the captain's Gilgamesh? Nah, no way, dude. Nah. No way. That'd be crazy. Captain can't be Gilgamesh. That'd be like some sort of crazy-ass plot twist. I'm not ready for that. I don't think I could handle that kind of thing if they just dropped that bomb on me right now. No way. Not happening. Just can't beat. Elite Vanguard coming out. I mean, there's no way I'm getting Tifa out on the board if I have to drop like the Elite Vanguards only. It's different on. It's weird because the offense, the offense focus one has an Enforcer, which is actually really easy to drop out there, right? Because it's just a two cost. But for a defense focus, I can't keep Tifa in. It's like a three cost. I wonder if it builds up meter faster though. We'll try it. You know, we're gonna try it. Screw it. I want to play with more stuff anyway. I want to try out the Blitzia. Yeah, that can't be Gilgamesh. That's no way. There's no way. That makes no sense. That being Gilgamesh? Ah, nah. Nah, man. No way. Uh, we're going to put out an Enforcer. Wow, that moves a lot slower than I thought it would. I have made an egregious mistake on my choice of, uh... It's a red, huh?
Bray. Run away. Haste, baby. Got him. Two seconds left. Ooh. <laughs> that was close, dude. <laughs> dude, the uh, the defense towers are insane. hero. Hey, hands off, buttercup. You want to thank us so bad? Give us the proto relic. <laughs> That, I'm afraid, I cannot do. This treasure is mine, and mine alone. Never would I allow you knaves to claim it. Uh, Captain? Come, my loyal henchmen. With this, none can hope to stand against us. Are we gonna have we to fight him now? We ourselves a sprawling empire. <laughs> Captain, well, wait for us, Captain. Where are you going? <laughs> he just flies off himself now? Every single time. Why is it every single time they just fly away? That polygonal piece of shit. <laughs> Talk about a dick move. You hear what the cavalry said? This whole thing started when the captain showed up. Yeah, when they gained free will. They were pretty happy about that, weren't they? Indeed they were. I still remember the weight of the chains that bound me to Hojo's service. And the joy I felt when someone finally came along and set me free. It's no surprise he's become a symbol of hope. Even so, we can't just abandon those guys. Never mind the proto relic. Right. Speaking of which, I've reacquired the signal. Send us the coordinates. Is this gonna unlock four condor as like a game for us? I'm kind of hoping it does. Encampment vestiges. Let's do this. We gotta go finish this up. We gotta finish it. I mean, we can't just let it, you know, end here, right? We were raised better than that. Uh, scorched earth. We can fast travel here, go back around, cut through the uh, mountain area. Right about here. Yeah, yeah. Cut through this little water area. Okay. I might have. I might have. Uh, mistaken. Oh no, no. This is right. This is right. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. Mistaken the depth upon which we must ride. Oh yeah, that is a long climb, my dude. Oh my gosh. Wait, where am I looking? Where are these? Oh yeah, that was a good idea to come back for that actually. <laughs> Ore and Ruby, heck yeah. I'm sorry, you want us to go that way, but we need to go this way for a very long climb. Who marked this wall? What at the room? Oh, okay, it's, it's actually split up. I kind of wish it was one, just like one long climb. A lot funnier that way. Pros camp. Area of interest. 
Knocking shit over. Lot of high either. Climbing up on the wrong side. Oh gosh, no, we do have to climb up this way because it looks like we're gonna go around. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude. Oh man, we are we were going across a lot of bridges. Appropriate. All things considered. Here we go. Preparations complete and standing by. You may proceed when ready, Cloud. We head back in there. It'll mean going up against the captain one more time. Heck yeah, dude. Let's rip him a new one. Enter the world of Fort Condor. I can play this game every day. Like, I love Fort Condor. I think it's so fun. Is this the captain's empire? Many moons have passed. Far too many to recall since my search began. Yet my treasure still eludes. Not I've gleaned, but loneliness. What are you doing? Stay back! We won't let anyone harm the captain. Rest assured, we won't hold back. Fine. If it's a fight you want, you got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, very basic unit setup over here. We've gotten Tifa in, so I feel like it's kind of like I want to bring in Barrett now at this point because I haven't had a chance to really get him in. Uh, let's see here. We've got a Warlord, Archfiend, Wyvern, Villainous Vanguard, Rotten Ranger, Evil Enforcer, Callous Cleric. They're very evenly spread across the board. So we're going to want an even spread ourselves, actually. Do we just take the elites though? Do we just play like a lot of trebuchets and ballistas? Real question? Queen's Blood or Fort Condor? Fort Condor every day of the week. Fort Condor is amazing. That's the problem. I love Fort Condor because Fort Condor to me is like an absolute delight. We're taking this one. We're, we're letting this be. We're letting this become what it must. Uh, our trebuchets and our blisters are going to carry us to victory, boys. We're going to make them the offensive heroes uh, that we don't deserve, but we need. All right, so we've got... Let's see here. Red on the right. Bust ya. All right, and then we're going to get a green over here. So we're going to wait. Actually, we're going to get a Trebby. It's a weird strategy, I know. Oh God, he done killed him.
What the heck? So here's how we're playing. We're playing. We're playing low and slow on this one, boys. We think we're playing hard and fast, right? Nah, we ain't playing hard and fast. We're lane controlling one lane. That's the goal. That's the goal, right? All right, here's what we do. Double shake. <laughs> I screwed it up. I really wanted to play super defensive on that one. It's really hard though if you've only got the elite units. I really wanted to focus on the trebuchets and the ballistas. It's super hard with that though. Um, which is why we're going to do it again. I'm going to make these things work. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Trebuchet. Uh, trebuchet. Enforcer. And then a cleric. And now a cleric.
God, that gun shoots just through everything. It's a linear shot, dude. We're gonna retry. We're gonna retry. I want the trebuchet to work, but I think I need to set up the trebuchet farther back and let it like hit the inner area. So I'm trying to use it more aggressively and it's not working. Trebuchet, my bro. And then we'll use up a trebuchet here. Wait, and enforcer. And then cleric it up. The condor will help with defend against this. Cleric it up. And then we're gonna put up more defense. Okay, I'll just build it back up. He's gonna let it build back up. Lanky kiss my butt. There we go. Got him. Yeah, the units will hit in the middle, but it's okay. I was just waiting for this for the hero units to drop him out in the end here. Honestly. Back where it belongs. Oh. We can say we went out with a bang. 
We sure did. It was fun while it lasted. Thanks for playing with us, friends. May we meet again on the field of battle. Someday. Well, if we can find the time. No! I enjoyed this. I really wanted to make that full on defense work for uh, winning. Welcome back. And splendid work, everyone. Thanks. The Fort Condor anomaly appears to have vanished, along with the captain, which unfortunately means I cannot ascertain his true identity. Great. At the last, we'll see if the cavalry? Not necessarily. I've devised an alternative. Though, I am sure my efforts will pale in comparison to that of their captains. Allow me to present an upgraded model of Fort Condor. Yo! By optimizing the combat simulator's OS for the game's internal processor, I have increased the unit's cognitive function and operational freedom. Provided they accept the optional update, that is. Oh, we've got a hard mode? Are you serious? Next time we see him, I hope we're fighting on the same side. Here, man. You hang on to this. Just make sure to keep it safe, all right? It's time to never go back to the main story ever. Oh, here we go. Across time and space. What the? An untethered soul. Adrift in the void of time, this bridge is make fast. Captain? Dude. The singular item that you now hold is possessed of a power beyond your can. You will deliver it unto me. No. Ha! <laughs> ah. Very well. Then I shall take it from you by force! <laughs> you are indeed a worthy warrior. I saw it plain, and never does my judgment err. So it comes to this. Yo, are we to have a duel with him? Bring me. What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that is so on point for him. <laughs> immediately recognizes when he's absolutely outclassed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cloud? Cloud! Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. What just... I was unable to locate you, albeit for only a moment. If something had happened to you because of me, I... Nothing happened. I'm fine. Right. My apologies. I let my emotions get the better of me. <laughs> Rattled you, huh? Could it be you got a soft spot for Soldier Boy here? Annoyance response triggered. Cause? There is mocking tone of voice. Anyway, <laughs> don't worry about it. Been in much worse situations than that before. Very well. Regardless, I will do what I can to improve security measures.
That was awesome. I, I loved going through Fort Condor. That was so fun, dudes. Oh my gosh. I, uh, I hope we can continue to go through stuff like that. That was honestly an absolute delight. Fort Condor is so fun for me. I, I enjoy it the hell and back. We are going to end our stream here, my guys. I am sorry, but I have to end it here. It's time to do other things. I got to get up for uh, stuff in the morning and, uh, you know, got to go check on the baby boy and the, and the wifey and so much more. So time to be responsible on my end. I'm going to catch you guys later. You all have a wonderful night. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. And until next time, dudes, as always, keep on rocking. Peace.